What is up? I am Crypto Mason and welcome back to the Crypto Mason YouTube channel. Shout out to the Gold Squad. We look for gold in every single aspect of our lives and we always find it. Now today we are back with a jam-packed market update and a bonus part at the end of this video where we're going to discuss the top three ways to get rich in the next bull market because it is coming. So in this video, we've got some amazing XRP news. We're gonna discuss what it means. Uh, Ripple is involved. We've got some HBAR stuff. We've got quant. We're gonna go over charts and everything in a simple, amazing fashion that we always do. So make sure you're watching until the end, but let's get into it. Now, before we do, let's do an XRP giveaway, folks. We hit 941 likes on the last video, uh, and that earned us a 100 XRP giveaway. So make sure you go over to the Gold Squad Discord, go to the free crypto channel, and you will see a little giveaway thing by the time this video's out. Make sure you just click, and you know, you'll be entered for 100 XRP. So let's keep it moving here. Let's get into the market, folks. Uh, Trust Wallet is up, CRO, we've got Wemix, Rune, uh, shout out to the people who have been in ThorChain for a while, I know they actually do have a crazy community, uh, we are at 1.3 trillion, and you guys know I love my, I love that total market cap number as a metric to track, and we're going to look at the chart in a second here, 1.3 trillion, volume is is above 50 billion we're sitting at 60 billion so there's some good volume going through the market right now uh thor chain is running the market we've got trust wallet oasis this was a coin in uh the 2022 kind of section there that was kind of exploding uh as for our biggest losers we've got pancake swap flow render continues to kind of bounce downwards uh and i see xdc as well in there so BTC, <clears throat> what's our Bitcoin price uh, sitting at, folks? 34445 Now, you can see, like, this is the 12-hour chart. Uh, and you can see, you know, this was a good break. This, Like, what we just did going to 35 k was very nice. And we, the whole, the whole key is, are we going to retain above 30000 right? Or above 34000 and so far, like we've done pretty good. We slipped into the 33,000s a little bit, uh, but we're, we've done good. And, th and this, it makes me pretty happy that crypto is able uh, to actually stay above uh, 30,000. It's a very good sign. Now, let's look at our favorite uh, chart right here. My favorite chart is the crypto total market cap. Now, you can see these are my circles from a few days ago. And you can see we actually blasted past, uh, well past where we should have stopped. Uh, historically, where we should have stopped is, you know, 1.25 trillion slash 1.2 trillion. But we actually blasted through it. And now the real test is if we can hold, uh, hold these market cap levels. Now, I absolutely love this chart. Just look at how this $1 trillion dollar level plays a nice support right there all across here right resistance it, it played resistance right here and we battled it a little bit and then we turned it into support which is actually pretty good sign right pretty good sign back in november basically on the day today we were fighting the one trillion dollar level as resistance and now where are we today well we're battling 1.3 which is very nice now, let's get into um, some of the biggest news today. Obviously, Sam Bankman-Fried has been convicted of his multi-billion dollar FTX fraud. Uh, he has been found guilty on all accounts, I believe. Uh, and the 12-member jury, uh, they decided within four hours. So after just oh, just over four hours, um, <laughs> they, they uh, made him guilty, right? They deemed him guilty. So that's the big news. I don't want to talk about scam bankman fraud anymore. Bye-bye. Farewell uh, FTX. You know, anything that's fake and just like shaky that is built will crumble. Now, I wanted to show you this from Bread and Butter. This is a great little chart of all of the upcoming events um, for November. Now, 
right after this video, I'm going to drop this in our Discord. Uh, we have our graphs and diagrams uh, channel where, you know, you'll see all these amazing different uh, cheat sheets and charts and, uh, you know, infographics. I'm going to drop it in here so you guys can look at that. But I highly recommend because there are some very interesting dates on there for November 2023. We also have the Karate Combat event happening um, tonight, I believe. And, you know, here's some of my picks. You guys can copy my picks if you want. Uh, but I suggest, you know, using your karate tokens how you want to use them. But this is who I've put mine. I, I bet over 2.1 million karate tokens uh, on the fights. Now, to keep it going uh, with HBAR related stuff, I wanted to show you that for October, the developer activity, HBAR came in third place. 380 developer activities in 30 days uh just under cardano and polka dot um but the key thing here is who are they above they are above Chainlink, above cosmos avalanche radix right so hedera those active developers is a key metric notice algorand is nowhere to be found on this list uh and other projects are nowhere to be found this is the most one of the most important net uh important metrics for ecosystem ex expansion is how many devs are actually building on it now let's get into the xrp and ripple section of this video uh the quarter three um xrp market report <clears throat> has came out officially okay and ripple has revealed that they have sold 892 million dollar uh, 892 million xrps uh for quarter three 2023 okay 41.3 billion xrp is still locked in the escrow uh and people get all controversial about this saying that ripple owns xrp and ripple owns the network dude ripple is a centralized company investing in a decentralized cryptocurrency okay they want the xrp price to go up they want it to go up because they're personally invested into it, right? And every single month, 1 billion tokens from the escrow gets unlocked, right? And they can sell some of those, but usually uh, a lot of those go back into the escrow, okay? So this gives a nice breakdown of what's happening, but the uh, markets report was out. Um, and they basically explain XRP currently, or Ripple's holdings fall into two categories. XRP that it currently has available in its wallets and XRP that is subject to on ledger escrow lockups that will be released each month over the next 42 months. For this latter category, Ripple does not have access to that XRP until the escrow releases it to Ripple on a monthly basis. So a lot of people think Ripple can just dump any of this 40 billion XRP whenever they want. No, it has to be released on this monthly schedule um, and they say the vast majority of xrp that is released is put back into the escrow now moving forward i wanted to uh here's a message to the whole xrp community i do not support building meme coins on top of the xrp ledger please just build real things not cash grab things okay one of the projects that or there, there's many projects that are building real things on top of xrp and using the xrp ledger but recently i was approached by someone from the xrp community who was going to launch a meme coin i unfollowed this person as soon as they tried to get me on like they approached me like it was an, a, a regular uh like cool new project on xrp and then i opened the document they sent me and it's a straight up meme coin cash grab so please stay away from these things. I am an objective, unemotional thinker uh, in, in my investing philosophy. So I can realize too and admit that meme coins do and can increase adoption, but they do it in the wrong way. Meme coins do not match up with what XRP stands for. 
XRP stands for being the biggest use case of crypto, the most useful, solving the biggest real world problem of cross-border payments. So I, I would hope that the stuff we build on top of XRP matches that philosophy. Save the meme coins for Binance, bro. If you want to build a scam or a rug pull or some bold crap NFT, or sorry, bull crap uh, meme coin or NFT, go build it on Binance. Go to Binance Smart Chain and build that crap, right? Just pollute their network. Don't pollute the XRP ledger. But I get it. It can increase volume. It can increase all of that. But people are going to be left wrecked. Like you're, If you get into these XRP meme coins, please sell when you're in profit. Sell, 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 dude. Because you will get stuck holding that thing until it's death. Uh you know, and, you know, someone asked me right here, what do I think about x -Spectre? Um, I think that x is one of the projects that's building on XRP uh, that is doing some of the realist stuff. Some of the realist stuff. They have gigantic ecosystem goals, and I can't wait to see if they, uh, they pull it off. Uh, and most people, you know, are really uh, agreeing with what I'm saying here um, on this take, Okay. Uh, and by the way, x -Spectre is not a sponsor of today's video. However, we've done some sponsored content for them in the past. Great, awesome project. Uh, we do, for our Gold Squad uh, community, we also hold a Jade land plot. It's the second biggest x -Spectre land plot, which is very cool. Now, let's keep it moving. Our last, or no, not even close to our last XRP-related discussion. Because, dude, there's a lot every single day uh, or every single video. Uh, so Uphold, let's talk about Uphold because Uphold directly partnered with Ripple, okay, directly, Ripple and Uphold. Um, and this is an exchange, Uphold is a dope exchange, they are not a sponsor of our channel, uh, however, they are doing a 50,000 XRP giveaway, holy cow, 50,000 XRP. Uh, so how this works is if you click the link in the description, you use our link to sign up, Every single $20 that you trade on Uphold, you get plus one entries, okay? So, for example, if you trade, uh, you know, $200, $200 worth, you you will get 10 entries into the sweepstakes to get uh, 50,000 XRP right there. So, obviously, the link in the description is a referral link. They are not uh, paying us um, in anything but referral money to, uh, promote this, but you know, who cares? It's a, it's a XRP 50,000 giveaway. Awesome opportunity. And dude, the amount of free money opportunities in crypto is just baffling. Now I wanted to mention this again for like the fourth or fifth time, uh, link Two has restocked, uh, the ripple shares on there. Okay. So ripple, uh, has pre IPO available, on there, it's available to all investors. If you're in the USA, it's not in Canada yet. So I'm waiting for them to come to Canada. They better come to Canada soon so that we can become uh, investors in Ripple. They also got a bunch of other awesome uh, companies on there. Um, but private investment with a minimum, there is a minimum investment of 2,500. Dude, if you can get into a private investment with a minimum of 2.5K, that's that's absurd. Usually private investing needs $100,000 plus. So that's the benefits of Link2 right there. Now let's get into the two massive pieces of uh, of Ripple news that have came out in the last uh, few days here. The National Bank of Georgia has selected Ripple as a key partner for the Digital Larry pilot project. So this is a CBDC project by the National Bank of Georgia. Now, I believe, I'm just going to do this for one second, Elon Musk X Georgia payment license. Now, I just want to confirm, yes, Elon Musk uh, with the X platform obtained a payment license in Georgia recently. Okay, so I mean, the stars are lining up, in my opinion, for some kind of Ripple integration here. Obviously, it's it's super far out. Like, it's it's a very small chance that um, 
that uh, Elon teams up with Ripple to run all the payments through X.com, okay? But it's it's potentially there. Uh, so Georgia was one of the states that he got a license in, and now we have the National Bank of Georgia selecting Ripple as its main partner. Now, what does this mean? Well, essentially, Ripple has an award-winning CBDC solution, uh, which is their CBDC platform. And essentially, this is using the XRP ledger. This CBDC platform is directly using the XRP ledger. Um, so the Georgia National Bank of Georgia has selected them uh, to run their, their digital uh, Larry pilot project. Now, the other piece of big news is the DIFC, the Dubai International Financial Center, um, is, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, just approved XRP under its virtual assets regime. I've told you many times, I think one of our recent videos um, was titled something to do with XRP and in India. Uh, where is it? Uh, hold on. Uh, okay, I actually... Where? Oh, right here. XRP plus India is the secret key, okay? And, you know, in that video, I also mentioned Dubai. Dubai being a, a hub for crypto innovation. And they absolutely are. So very interesting uh, on the Georgia piece of news. And then the DIFC also doing that for them in Dubai. Now, let's go over the three strategies to become rich in the next crypto bull run. So I made a, a TikTok of this, um, which is a great watch as well. It's four minutes long. But I'm going to reiterate these right here. Okay, there's three strategies because the bull run is coming. It's coming. The bull run is coming. Uh, and the, the first one is to catch the next explosive narrative. The next explosive narrative. This is going to be your number one way of making 20, 50x. Okay. Uh, catch the next explosive narrative. A couple examples here. If you caught the whole like meme coin, Dogecoin era where Dogecoin shot up to like 60 cents. There were millionaires made, right? There were millionaires made. Uh, the gaming bull run of 2021, too. There are so many gaming coins exploded uh, and made millionaires. Then we had the metaverse coins explode. Millionaires were made. The AI coin explosion recently, millionaires were made. And, you know, to find the next narrative, you have to look at what you think is currently underrated. So, in my opinion real utility coins, um, real world asset coins, uh, AI coins, anything to do with that. And, and gaming, I think will have another huge, huge bull run. Okay. So catching the next explosive narrative is going to be how you're going to make lots of money. Now diversifying. The second point is diversifying into narratives with strong cash flow. So this is a two part uh, thing right here. Okay. You have to have strong cash flow. So I urge everyone here to build some kind of extra cash flow, get another job or start an online business or start making videos, something that's going to give you extra cash flow. Cause you need to be heavy. You need to have a lot of cash coming in so that you can diversify into narratives. I'm not telling you to pick one narrative and go all in on it right? People do that and it can work out, but sometimes it doesn't. So I'm telling you to actually get into all of the narratives that you believe in. Okay. Now, the third uh, strategy here is the best one. And I, I, I'm going to make a video that just details this uh, name that I have for this type of portfolio. It's called the three tier portfolio. And I believe this is the key to crypto. It's a three-tier portfolio. The first tier, at the foundational level, you guys have heard me explain this, but please listen up again because this is, should be your focus in building your crypto bags. The first foundational level of your portfolio should be your long-term holds. These are coins that you occasionally stack your bags up. You don't care where the price goes. You're not looking to exit quickly or make profit quickly. You're just stacking those because you believe in your mind that within four years or a year or five years or 10 years, the token price will go up. That's all you're doing. 
the second tier of your portfolio should be more of um, an active pursuit of fundamentally strong projects. Uh, and with some dedicated capital, dedicated money to go and find new opportunities, right? We're going to have some sponsors here at the end of this video. And these are examples of new coins that are coming out onto the market that could explode, right? That's what we see is new coins come onto the market. They do their launch pad and they explode. And whoever's in early makes money usually if they sell. Uh, so that's your second uh, tier of your portfolio is actively pursuing opportunities, right? Like this would mean I go onto this market right here and I'm like, okay, let's go to the 24 hours. Who's the biggest loser? Okay. Render. Do I think render uh, is going to be big in the future? Let me zoom out on their chart. Oh, wow. They're only at $2.2 and uh, it, it could go to $7. That's the last all time high. And then you do your research on render and you say, okay, I believe that in a couple months, there's going to be another AI explosion and we'll go back up to whatever, right? And then you put your money in and you're actually looking for an exit. You're looking to double your money. You're looking to 5X your money uh, in the short term. That's the second tier, right? Then the top tier of your portfolio um, is actively trading. So taking a portion of your money, and this is why you need strong cash flow is because you're going to diversify your money into three different tiers. So this tier is actively trading. So I'm talking about signing up for Fairdesk with the link in this in the description or any exchange, right? And actually trading perpetual futures or trading on spot. Okay. I prefer um, trading per uh, perpetual futures. Um, I am in one right now. Look at that down huge uh, right now on a very degenerate uh, ETH right there. I might actually get liquidated on that, but we'll see how, how that plays out. I, I am not fearful um, of negative 20%. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, that is a 40x cross long, so extremely degenerate or sorry, uh, short. That is not a long right there. Uh, but this is what I mean, actively taking a portion of your money and really trading with it and learning trading. Okay, and this this is looking bad for me. Uh, and obviously, I do not have a stop loss on, as you can see, only a take profit. Uh, but I'm going to look for that to tap uh, just below 1800 again, and then we'll be looking good. I'm going to get out of that one. Now, let's get into uh, our sponsors for today. Um, Unigrid.org. Unigrid is a sharded internet project that is coming up. We did a dedicated uh, review, excuse me, review video for them, uh, which was very nice right here a couple weeks ago. If you want a deep dive into the project, go look at that. Um, but they're doing their sale um, on NFT pad or sorry, NF pad right here. Uh, the token sale is going to be hosted exclusively on NFPAD, and it's commencing on November 4th, so tomorrow, which is very cool. Uh, and then, you know, this, just go watch the dedicated video. Essentially, they're building a new internet where you can contribute um, uplink server load and storage uh, to the network by running a grid node or a service node, uh, and you supply bandwidth, compute cycles, and storage space. Uh, and then essentially this is a, this is disrupting the, um, the whole Amazon, uh, the Amazon virtual or sorry, the Amazon web services space, I believe the VPN, everything. This, this is a huge disruptor, um, of the internet in general. So go check them out. Uh, the sale is going to be on NF pad, uh, right there. Now our next sponsor is, uh, Commonwealth. This isn't so much of a sponsor. Uh, because me and Megan are both advisors for this project. Uh, and I, I absolutely love what they're doing. They just put out a very nice uh, community update. Also, this video right here. Make sure you go and watch that. But here's their community update on, uh, on uh, Medium. So basically, they have their public beta app test, their launch strategy, uh, and their ecosystem growth. And that's all for free. You can read through it. Uh, they're testing their MVP. They've got integration with ZK Sync and Chainlink. Um, and apparently the token is coming. The token is coming. I think they've had to push it back a little bit. 
But what they're doing is basically bringing retail investors the same private sale deals as crypto VCs. Okay, so instead of Wall Street, it becomes All Street. Very nice project right there. Now, ChainGPT is the final sponsor of today's video. This essentially is my favorite AI project. We just talked about narratives. ChainGPT is the main super AI app for crypto. I don't know any other ones that have as much built um, as them, right? They have their launch pad. They have all of their um, web app products here. They've got so many different things, an NFT generator, AI generated news, uh, chat bots, they have everything, right? So this is the, the AI super app that's going to help people onboard into crypto. So go check out ChainGPT, massive shout out to them. Let's check up on this trade. Okay, we're going, yeah, it's still pretty bad, down uh, 450, okay? I'll, I'll give you an update in the next video on how that one played out. Now, that is all we've got. I love every single one of you. Drop a like and comment on the video. Join the Gold Squad Discord and goodbye.